I'm on my way to work, as y'all can see. Because we still working during this hectic time. So, you know. Girl, this money is already too tight. I can tell because, baby, it feels like someone is squeezing my left side of the brain. <sighs> so I don't like like I don't I wouldn't say I'm a morning person but I do like me personally I feel like when I wake up in the morning um, and go ahead and get my day started I'm more like active more motivated to do stuff but the hard part is to get up first so that's the only thing and i like how like i can watch the sun come up um in the morning this thing ain't trying to hold my phone like it's supposed to so yeah but i felt like i just felt like recording like i guess vlogging my day so in a way in a way so um y'all this thing is getting on my nerves because it used to hold it really well but now it's like it's slipping it's not holding it no more but um but yeah so i just left my child roman hopefully by the time this video is posted the video of me i have a whole vlog of when I went to get him, pick him up, all that stuff. And I was supposed to still have been like kind of vlogging his like monthly like whatever, but I've been slacking y'all. And I'm really trying to get back on these videos and doing them. It's just honestly y'all it's not hard to make a video that's not even the hard part the hard part is editing the video and taking time to edit the video but like if it's something you really want to do you're gonna make the time for it so that's what i tell myself so that's what i'm trying to get my life because i keep telling myself get your life get your life and then So yeah, I'm gonna, oh, I wanted to talk about my skin. <laughs> I wanted to talk about my skin because it's getting, I can tell even just on camera, cause you know, on camera is when it tells it all, but it's getting so much better. So I'm probably one day do like a skincare video because honey, baby. So, when I went to England, so I was first stationed in England, I went over there, skin acted up. I have really sensitive skin, and I, I would say to the point where it's also acne prone. So, I have really sensitive skin um, as well as acne prone, and so I can't be like, my skin doesn't do well with different environments, the change up and all that stuff. That's why too, like if I travel a lot, like, well, not now, y'all know what's going on now, but if I travel a lot and get on airplanes and stuff like that, like literally touch down and I have like two, at least two new pimples on my face. Like my skin does not do well with the change of environment. So anyways, yep, I was overseas and my skin basically like went through a fucking, excuse my language, I didn't mean to say that. It went through um, a very like drastic change and to the point where I was like in tears because my skin, and if y'all know me, I'm like all about the skin. My skin went through so much and I didn't know what to do. I tried all types of products, nothing was helping. Some products made it worse, like, girl, going through it. But anyways, basically, I found this regimen. Um, I found this regimen 
and it literally like cleared my skin up so good like to the like the best that it had ever looked like clear butter butter smooth baby so then um my skin did as soon after it cleared up it was it was just fine the whole time like i didn't have really no issues at all um y'all i'm trying but this thing i'm trying once i'm done telling this story i'm gonna just wait and vlog until i sometime not in the car but but yeah so um god dang where was i at yeah so anyways my skin was super clear for a very very while anyways um got stationed to north dakota my skin was doing okay but i didn't really get to see how my skin was reacting because i deployed so when i deployed um that's when my skin got crazy again because i went back overseas and y'all know overseas they're, they're water and stuff especially depending on where you go it's not really all that good so i went and deployed um and my skin acted a straight fool um and so i tried to use those products while i was out there but um it was like it wasn't working it was weird and i was confused because i'm like how are the how are they not working when this is what i used to get it clear in the first place so i just didn't use it but i i struggled out there regardless just because honestly like where i was it was just super sandy and all that like it was just a lot of dirt around in the environment and all that stuff like it just wasn't a good situation so i just like like it got to the point where like my hair was falling out like my edges was thinning out and then i ended up getting a bald spot in the middle of my head the water was harsh all that stuff like it was just a, a time but anyways so then i came back to the states and it was like my skin it still didn't clear up it actually was getting worse and my skin once it um gets a blemish even if i don't touch it because i really try not to pick out my skin because it's not good for your skin but it doesn't matter because i have sensitive skin my skin when it tries to fight off the blemish it will still leave a mark on my face so basically my skin can basically have no pimples on it but it will look really bad or like a lot's going on because it has the after markings of the blemishes on my face so i will struggle a lot with like what's it hyperpigmentation i think that's what it's called but um i don't know a lot of people like use this use vitamin e oil or use um ahas and all that stuff like i do that stuff where i haven't really tried retinol stuff but um my skin is just the top like knowing my skin and like i said i pay attention to my skin a lot and i look into stuff all that stuff it's just one of those things where it's like it you have to give it time to really like whatever so basically i tried the products here but then i felt like the products was working or like my skin was reacting to it a very different way like burning and all this stuff which some of the side effects i was getting from it is normal but when i used it in england it i didn't get those side effects so i was very um baby that sun coming through but i was very taken back from it so um yeah i was very taken god and i was very i was taken back by that so i was like okay but i was like let me just use it stick it out let me just use it see where it takes me and so after a few months i finally started seeing results so then i was like let me just stick to it and then also i think what helps too is like as a moisturizer what i use is uh, african shea butter um so she's been getting me through these hard times but like i said my skin and then also you know when your skin's getting good too because like when you keep getting a lot of compliments on your skin like your skin looks so good it's glowing and all this stuff like but yeah so um my skin been going through it but now i can tell it's getting a lot better but we still got some work and i actually randomly last night i forget why or how it happened but i just thought like oh because I, um i i wasn't like really like i wasn't using a 
what's it called? Like an exfoliator, like a what is it called? Not, I'm not looking, not manual exfoliator, but like I don't know. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Anyways, because the AHAs act as a, a exfoliator without actually exfoliating your skin. You know how sometimes still you like mm, no, I want to like actually exfoliate. So I exfoliated my skin. And I was like, you know what? I wanted to try derma planning. So I was gonna like get all the stuff I needed and do it at home derma cleaning so I might not if I do it I might not record it because it'll be my first time I feel like I need to focus especially since like you're taking a blade to the face and whatever you're trying to get all the dead skin off and all the like peach fuzz and stuff but if it turns out good then the next time I do it I'll end up recording but anyways y'all I gotta go because um I usually listen to music on my way to work to get my mind right and I'm like 15 minutes I'll see y'all later. All right, y'all. So I just got off work. I'm here to see my baby. Look how crazy he looks. He gets his first haircut this week. I'm so nervous. Because what if they make him look crazy? I might lose it. But I'm going to try to tell him how I want it. And we'll see what happens. This is my baby. Say hi. He's gotten so much bigger than from when I first got him. I think when I first got him, he probably was like three pounds. He was tiny. And then he went to get shots a few weeks ago, and they said he was 5.3 pounds. But honestly, even from that appointment, I kind of think he's gotten a little bit bigger so he has another appointment for shots hold on now uh oh we have i'm trying to set this up oh you know what i have something but he has another um y'all i need to clean this drawer out y'all know how y'all have like a mess drawer well, it's a bit of a mess, and it's time to clean it out. All this paperwork. He's probably like, Mommy, shut up. I need to go to the bathroom. I've been holding it all day. I got to go to the bathroom, too. Where is it at? I'm trying to show y'all what he looked like, but here we go, right here. Okay. Hopefully, that's it. Okay, Roman. Hi, Steve. I know I miss you. You're so sweet. He's so sweet. He just gives me hugs and kisses and loves. And he's the sweetest boy ever. Look. Look at him. He's a teddy bear. Say hi. Hi. He probably... Maybe later when I, um, I've been teaching him some tricks and stuff. So maybe later, I might take a nap because I kind of had a headache today. So maybe later, um, I'll record him doing some tricks and stuff. But I'm about to go take him on. You see how, like, much hair he has? He's my little Lion King. I'm seven, yeah. I'm sorry. Okay, I know. You gotta go potty. I'm gonna change my clothes and I'm gonna take him outside. Look, he's such a baby. He knows he's the baby, too. He knows he's the baby. But look how sweet he is. Say hi. Oh, I know. Okay, that's enough. Ah! Oh, not in the mouth. Not in the mouth. You're so sweet, though. I love you. But anyway, so I'm gonna change my clothes. And I'm gonna take him on a walk so he can go potty because if he potties in the house, there's gonna be problems, okay? Oh, I know, Steve. I'll see you guys in a minute. They did something to the grass. So now everything to me looks like poop. So I'll be having to watch grass today. Come on, Roman. 
Oh my goodness. Um, he's four months. What is he? A toy poodle. Oh. Yeah. So he's not gonna get any bigger. No. <laughs> Gonna be my little baby. Yeah. That's for sure. Yeah. Have yeah. a good day. Thank you. Come on, Papa. Oh, boy. Come on. No. Come on. You crazy boy. He likes to sniff so that he can find where he wants to take a poop. This morning, I felt like we were outside forever because he didn't know where he wanted to poop at. Mind you, I have, I didn't really, I don't want to say I woke up late, but I didn't wake up to give myself enough time for him to be doing all of that. Come on. Hurry up and poop so I can take you around the block. I'm not even. Come on, Papa. This way. Come on. Rowan. found his spot okay so I just got done with a home workout because um, we know all the gyms are closed so here's my outfit um, I ain't gonna lie I haven't really been working out like I normally do so today is technically my first day back working out and just know just know Okay, we can't be doing that no more. But yeah, so I just had a quick workout. It was nothing crazy, but actually it was a really good workout, but nothing too crazy, like a 10 minute quick little um, hit workout. So um, I felt really good, but I think what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna go shower and I'm gonna continue to edit a few videos. I wanted to do another makeup look today, but depending on, um, the video editing we don't know yet so because i'm i've been trying to get this video out for almost a week now so i'm now i'm pushing pushing the, the time because i tell myself i'd be more consistent so that's what we need to do but yeah so i will see y'all in a minute